Hi everyone, thank you for joining me in this video. So for today's tutorial, I will teach you how to verify a file that you have downloaded in the internet if that one is uh, not corrupted or a complete file. So let's hop on to the computer. So we will uh, discuss here is about MD5. So MD5 is just a it's like a code in a file that uh, has this uh, has function producing a 128-bit hash value. So it's just like a code that you can verify in a file. So we will going to use this one for verification of a file that you have downloaded on the internet. So just go. Just Google a MD5 checker and on the first link, just click that one and click download. And click the first one, the first link. And I already downloaded. So just click open folder. So just right click the file and extract all and extract. Then open the folder and open the program so from here we're just going to click add and we will navigate on the file that you want to check so example this uh, windows 10 iso so just click open and it will just make some analysis on the file while this progress bar is uh, proceeding so right now once you download a file on the internet, sometimes it has a MD5 checksum code on the website that you are downloading. So for this one, we have this code, the MD5 uh, checksum code from this website. So from this, we will just verify if this code is matching on the this program from MD5 checker. So this ISO file I downloaded on my the other YouTube uh, video that I have. So from here, there's a MD5 code that I can verify. So I just need to double click it and make a copy. So just open the MD5 checker. So we just need to right click that one and make a comparison on the md5 so just click compare and i will paste the code that i had just copied a while ago so from here just paste it and as you see here it's the same so it means that the file that i downloaded is a correct one or it is not corrupt so just in case the file that you downloaded is not showing the same one so you may need to re-download the file that you are downloading. Perhaps some internet connection, it do will cause some uh, corruption of the file. So sometimes it will not show the same as the checksum code that you are copied from the original file. So I hope it makes sense. And thank you for watching, guys. And see you on the next one.